<laughs> Here, let's see what time it is. Oh. It, it is 3.16 in the morning, and I've at least had six cups of coffee. That is if you want to call this one cup, which it is not. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Thugged Out Thursday, your TLG weekly commentary. As you can see, we're playing a little bit of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I never actually bought the game, but it's free right now on Xbox Live. So I figured, yeah, what the hell. <laughs> but before we get started, quick shout out to my man Genius Assassin Zero, who's taking home the thug of the week and for good reason. Now this guy is a very responsible young man who, you know, carries himself with a lot of maturity. He's getting very good grades in school and and he's always helping out his friends and family. So congratulations, man. You're a perfect example of what this YouTube channel is all about. And if you yourself want to get the Thug of the Week or perhaps nominate one of your friends, all you have to do is tell me what makes you a thug by filling out the form on the contact page of thuglifegaming.com. Now, getting into today's topic, we're going to be talking about my own personal most anticipated games that are getting ready to come out. And I wanted to make this video Video so that you guys have a better idea of you know all of the different titles that I'm gonna be purchasing that you can expect videos to be made for now are there gonna be some games that you're gonna be disappointed I'm not getting yes absolutely <laughs> but you kind of have to open your wallet see how broke you are <laughs> and then prioritize on making these decisions <laughs> so I'm gonna run in order you know by release date all of the games that I plan on getting that actually have release dates set for because all of the games that were announced at E3 that you know don't have release dates yet we'll we'll talk about them in another video but for right now let's talk about the games that are set in stone have an official release date so coming up here in August August is gonna be a very fun month it kind of kicks off you know the whole video game season for me and there's two games that are coming out at the start of August you have Rares Replay and then at the end you have Gears of War Ultimate Edition and the reason you know I'm very excited for this month to kick off is because since Rares Replay comes out at the start you know it's the classic you know 30 for 30 deal all the old school games I'm gonna have an entire freaking month of just playing some old school shit, <laughs> all right? Just kicking it old school, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna truly enjoy it. I'm gonna be making, you know, Thugged Out Thursday videos, gonna be live streaming these old school games, and simply just having a lot of fun with the whole nostalgia factor of it. But then, you know, after, you know, playing that for a couple weeks, again, at the end of August, Gears of War Ultimate Edition comes out, and the main reason I'm excited for, you know, Gears of War to really kick off again is the developers are basically like revamping the franchise. Now, a good example of this is, you know, after Halo 3 came out and Bungie made Halo 3, uh, you know, when you keep making a game for such a long time, sometimes the developers will kind of lose their passion for it because they've been doing it for so damn long. And you can tell that with Bungie, right? Like. They just didn't have a passion for Halo anymore, and that's why they ended up developing 343 Industries. They took a team from Bungie, the people that were still passionate about Halo, and they said, screw it, we'll make our own freaking studio. So they did. And then my own personal favorite Halo campaign was Halo 4. So personally, I think the same applies for the new development team behind Gears of War. And a good example of that would be their video series called Gears Inc. Now, this series shows showcases uh you know gears of war fans that have gears tattoos they go out and get their tattoos remastered recolored and it's it's a lot of fun to watch but the coolest part of it is the head developer behind gears of war now uh you know he's like in his 50s or something and he goes out and gets his very first tattoo again at the age of like 50 and he gets the gears of war like logo um, you know, it's something very subtle that I think kind of showcases his passion for the franchise. I think it was a really cool thing to show fans. Then next up in September is Forza 6. Okay, and I know this is the third Xbox exclusive in a row, but my PlayStation TLG fans, all right, just, just give me a break here. All right, just be patient with me. All right, Xbox just has a great lineup for 2015, so I got to geek out over this stuff. 
all right? But we'll get to the third party games in a sec. So September is Forza 6. I'm super hyped for it. The main reason being, I haven't gotten a freaking racing game since, I think, Burnout Paradise, which I believe came out in 2008. So my track skills are a little rusty, all right? So we're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have to hit those streets hard, all right? Hit some corners, drift a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll practice in my truck. Okay, that's not a good idea. I'm a horrible driver, but <laughs> but I'm excited for this game, and that's really going to keep me entertained for the rest of September and a little bit into October. Now, speaking of the month of Halloween, if you will, fall happens to be my favorite season because I fucking hate the summer because I'm a vampire. All right, so I'm going to be very pumped for the fall. Main reason being, middle of October, Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, let's get it done. <laughs> I was so much of a fan of the whole Vegas franchise of Rainbow Six. I loved Rainbow Six Vegas. Absolutely one of the greatest games to ever touch or even be a part of esports. I mean, there's still esports competitions going on for that game today. And how old is that shit? You know what I mean? So, love Rainbow Six. I'm actually more excited for Rainbow Six than I am the game that comes out at the end of the month, which is Halo 5. Now, I'm sure many of you are like, oh, Matthew, how is that so? You're such a big Halo fan. Here's the thing, okay? I'm a huge Halo fan, and that is the truth. But this game is gonna be make or break for 343 Industries. The main reason being, Halo the Master Chief Collection is the most god-awful piece of crap that I've ever put in a, in a gaming console in my life. I'd rather play E.T. I'd rather play the E.T. game than play that shit, okay? It's actually downloaded on my Xbox, so technically I have to own it forever, but I don't want to. All right, and anyone that bought that game at launch, you know what I'm talking about, so don't judge me here. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be make or break for 343. If they ruin that franchise for me, if they ruin Halo 5, I will never forgive them ever again. All right, so that is basically your October, just a whole bunch of shoot 'em up stuff. You're gonna see some great, some great videos, a lot of great tip videos for sure. Let's let's get real. I make some really good tip videos, <laughs> so I'm excited to be making those. But moving into the big November, okay, this is the month that everyone's talking about, right? We got a little bit of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, baby. All right, let me stop right there. Because if I want to be perfectly honest of a man to you guys, I have to admit, I kind of don't like the Black Ops series, okay? I'm not going to lie. I love the multiplayer aspect of it, but I hate the campaigns, and, and I'm a huge fan of campaigns, you know what I mean? I want to have some story. I want to have something that gets me emotionally engaged with whatever I'm playing. And the Black Ops series just doesn't do it for me. But I will be freaking getting the game because I love Call of Duty multiplayer. For the people out there that say it's the same damn thing every year, whatever, dude, okay? They have a formula, and it works, and I enjoy Call of Duty. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be getting Black Ops 3 strictly for the multiplayer. We'll see how the campaign goes, but I'm definitely getting the game. Then, middle of November is a game I'm a little iffy on, but I enjoyed the last installment of, and that is The Rise of Tomb Raider. Now, I did buy the Tomb Raider back in 2013, and I really did enjoy it. I love the female hero heroism aspect of the game I think it brings a great variant to the gaming industry in general and you're not really buying those games for multiplayer you know what I mean you're buying it for the campaign the story and how beautiful the game is and what better of a game if you're trying to have a hot steamy sensual night by yourself you know what I mean what better of a game than Tomb Raider baby okay there isn't one just kidding, there is. And it comes out at the end of November. <laughs> I'm talking Star Wars Battlefront, dude. We've been waiting for this game for so damn long. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I appreciate the franchise. But when it comes to video games, I've been waiting for a new epic-ass Star Wars game for a long time. And Star Wars Battlefront better freaking deliver. Okay, it better deliver. Like the mailman. You know what I mean? Well, actually, the mailman is kind of late sometimes. But... Hopefully it does deliver. <laughs> and that really does wrap up your entire, you know, November, but whole fall season of video games. And really the only title left that I know that I'm going to be purchasing uh, actually comes out in March. And that is going to be Tom Clancy's The Division. Now, obviously everyone's excited for that game. They've 
It's been hyped up for so damn long, and they've pushed back the release date so many damn times that I'm predicting this game is going to be absolutely amazing, just because I think they've pushed it back for good reason. They see all of these video games coming out completely broken. Master Chief Collection. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> But they've pushed it back so many times. I think they're really working out all the kinks and bugs of it uh, And it's gonna be a whole lot of fun now One thing I will say before I go guys is there's so many of these games coming out And I know for those of you that are in school right now you guys are gonna have a lot of trouble Balancing your schoolwork and the urge to want to play these video games And the only thing I really got to say to you guys is to you know really focus on your damn schoolwork Video games really do come secondary to that so if you want to be a true thug and really represent what this whole YouTube channel is about. Get your damn schoolwork done, okay? So like, you can have a successful future and drive around Lamborghinis and stuff. <laughs> but comment below, click that thumbs up button, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, freaking, you hear that? That's the sound of a pen. I'm gonna stab you in the neck with it if you don't subscribe. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nobody stab anyone with anything. All right. <laughs> but you guys know what it is. Keep living that life, baby. Because that's what thugs do. Take it easy, guys.